Now an independent MEP, Stephen Wolf, fought back against Mr Jones as he defended the immigration policy put forward by the newly registered Brexit party. Mr Wolf will reportedly join up with former UKIP leader Nigel Farage who recently admitted that he could run for the leadership of the new party. In a debate between the two, Mr Jones accused the party of scapegoating migrants, while also labelling the party as a vehicle for the establishment. In response, Mr Wolf said, it will not be a vehicle for the establishment, it will be to attack the establishment who want to keep us in the EU, and I'm sick to death of being called xenophobic and racist over an immigration policy that I helped write with Nigel Farage, we made it very clear that we're not opposed to immigration, we are looking for managed migration policies and we want equal immigration policies, read more EU exposed. Farage's critique of MEPs revealed, we know nothing of former UKIP MEP. Stephen Wolfe challenges Owen Jones, Image BBC, Owen Jones criticises the Brexit party's immigration policy, Image BBC, Mr Wolfe also added that the party's policy would be to treat everyone the same regardless of which country they're from, in his final retort to the political activist Mr Wolfe concluded that he would not allow any more criticism for the party to go unchallenged. Again, the new Brexit party was officially recognised by the Electoral Commission yesterday after being registered by former UKIP member Catherine Blakelock. Ms Blakelock recently said, never in peacetime has such a portrayal been attempted by this treacherous Conservative government. Read. More, BBC bias, Farage's brilliant response after BBC failed to show speech Stephen Wolfe defends the new Brexit party, image BBC, this is a wake-up call, we are going to have thousands of people who will just leave the Conservatives and vote for US in the event of the European Parliament election, recently, Mr Farage has admitted that if Brexit is delayed, he would be forced to run in the European elections. According to the Daily Telegraph, the new party could welcome a wave of Tory defectors. In a copy of the party's constitution, it clearly states that it has been set up to appeal to disaffected Conservatives. With Theresa May desperately trying to secure her Brexit deal, the emergence of the new party could be a serious threat to her if she agrees to a soft Brexit.